It's February 24, 2017, and we got a lot of weird stuff going on. We got a lot of warnings and watches. I got a lot of breaking news, and we got a lot of videos coming your way today on February 24, 2017. Um, before we get into this video, I'm putting warnings out for tomorrow and stuff. Something's happening. All right, something's happening with our Earth. We're having weird weathers, earthquakes nearby asteroids so we're gonna explain what's happening okay first off I put warnings and watches years ago um, about five years ago for December 21st 2012 even though people said nothing happened on December the 21st 2012 something did happen all right that's why we're seeing all this crazy weather you see the way that they picture in the movies it's like something's going to happen all day on December 21st, 2012. And that's not true. Okay, so they didn't want people to go out there panic or nothing like that. But the Mayans, um, the Sumerians, and the Egyptians, we use their calendar. We use their planetary dialogue for everything. And the best at that is the Mayans and the Incas. We use 99.9% .9 of their research. Actually, the way that they know about the coming comets, the asteroids, all that stuff, they actually know it better than the modern air. So that has us thinking that they had technology because they did have technology. That's a whole other video. Okay. Um, their technology was different than ours. All right. But everything that we know about the outer space is from the Mayans and Inca. And we still can't catch up to them. But on December 21st, 2012, something did happen. Our Earth and our solar system, including our sun, lined it up with the central galactic plane. The central galactic plane is like a giant black hole that keeps our Earth, our sun, everything in line. Because basically our sun goes up and down on this line. All right, And behind the sun, the planets follow the sun. And it follows it towards the middle of the central galactic plane. But it takes thousands of years to get right in the middle of the central galactic plane. And that's what happened on December 21st, 2012. Now, as our sun is pulling us along, we do go around our sun. Every year we go around our sun. But what makes this different is that when we're going around our sun in a different kind of way, not in a circle, but we're doing it in a helio type of way going towards the central galactic plane, this is where it gets tricky. So before uh, December 21st, 2012, leading up to we've seen a lot of weird, big uh, disasters. And afterwards, we see a lot of big storms of like 9.0 earthquakes, the biggest tsunamis. But things are going to get worse, folks. And the reason things are going to get worse is for the past, even up to it, it was bad, right? Even after it was bad. But it's different when our Earth goes in front of the sun in a central galactic plane. I hope you guys understand. It's different when our Earth goes between the central galactic plane and our sun. Before this, we were behind our sun. Yes, we felt the gravitational pulls and everything. And when we were lining up to it, we felt all the gravitational pull. But in the end of January 2017, our Earth... Starting to make clips. Just go back. I did a whole video on it. It's starting to go in front of the sun in the central galactic plane. Before we were around it, on the other side is we're circling it. The whole solar system. But right now as we're spinning, we're going between the central galactic plane and we're going between the sun. And planet Nibiru, planet X, even NASA is admitting that there's a planet 9. And there's no doubt about it, there is. And it's coming through our solar system. The reason we're seeing all these asteroids is because of the central galactic plane. And it's getting sucked towards us. On top of it, when the planet 9, Neptune, makes a wave, we're coming towards it. Okay. Um, there's another planet that people don't know about. And that planet was between Mars and Jupiter, what we call the asteroid belt. The asteroid belt used to be a big planet. And when it went through 
the galactic plane. Something hit it. All right, so imagine all the asteroid in the asteroid belt at one time was a planet. Something came through it and destroyed it. And all the remaining pieces created the asteroid belt. So let's get into it. So we're lining up with the central galactic plane, the Earth between the sun and the central galactic plane. We're going to see more asteroids. Last night, we had a near-miss asteroid that flew 80,000 kilometers away from Earth. And NASA detected it yesterday, during the day, and they didn't even know it was coming near Earth. That asteroid was called 2017 DG-16. I put out a warning video last night. You know, it, it wasn't that big, so it ain't had nothing to worry about. Even if it did hit, it had been a little boom boom but nothing big all right but as we see right now and i put out a weather video earlier this week with earthquakes all this all right right now we're in the middle of a a storm a magnetic storm and ar2638 has the potential to produce a c to x class solar flare now from us lining up and getting on the other side of the sun we're going to see more solar flares from year 2017 to 2020, when we're on the other side of the fence, when we're on the side of the central galactic plane gravitational pull, we're going to see more asteroids, we're going to see the biggest solar flare. So warnings from now to 2020 for X-class solar flares. All right, doomsday, preppers, this is why they're doing it, folks. Right now we've got a coronal home, we're inside a stream, and we're seeing the storms increasing. Because it's called a magnetic storm for a reason. When the solar stream from the sun hits our upper atmosphere, it charges up the air and these storms blossom. That's why we're seeing what's going on down in California. And on top of that, it's a magnetic storm. So it pushes on our plates and causes major earthquakes. And I still got warnings and watches for a major earthquake that will occur in the West Coast. All right. Um, this is www.express.com UK. Now we're going to get into warnings and watches for tomorrow. February 25th, we got two asteroids that's coming towards Earth. And one of those asteroids, I don't know if it's a giant asteroid or a comet. And this is what NASA says, and we're about to get into it. But um, the links are going to be at the bottom. Check this out. Is the asteroid due to crash in the Earth's spark and mass tsunamis next week? This article was uh, posted on January 28th. The object known as 2016 WF9 is hurling towards Earth and is being tracked by NASA. NASA says the object, which could be a comet or asteroid, will safely pass Earth at a distance of nearly 32 million miles on February 25th. And that could be a possible fact. They could pass safely through Earth. But why is NASA keeping a track of this asteroid? How does NASA not know if this is a comet or an asteroid? A comet, any size comet will wipe out the Earth. It's bigger than an asteroid. All you need is an asteroid the size of an umpire state building. Hit Earth and half our Earth is gone. All right, so a comet's way bigger. And you got to remember, our gravitational pull. Our gravitational pull also makes our moon rotate in place. All right, on top of the sun. All right. And the comet's bigger. And we got our north and south poles. They don't launch rockets in the north pole. They won't launch rockets in the south pole. They will launch rockets in Texas, Florida, anywhere on the equator line. The reason they launch rockets on the equator line is because there ain't no gravitational pull. And the more north or south you go, they cannot launch rockets in the outer space without being sucked back down. So tomorrow... February 25th, 2017, an asteroid or comet called 2016 WF9 will come the closest towards Earth. The article is going to be at the bottom. So it's almost one point away from being as far as the sun. It's two points away between the earth and the moon. Okay, so check that out. Um, but what's crazy about this Apollo asteroid or comet or whatever they want to call it, all right, is that this thing might hit earth. 
and we're not even sure. And what's crazy about this, I'm, I'm saying this might hit Earth. And the reason I'm saying this might hit Earth is because of NASA. Yes, because of NASA. NASA knows it's coming. And we're at NASA.gov. This is NASA's official government website right here. This is NASA's official asteroid tracking device right here. All right, the links are going to be at the bottom. Do what you want. As this is why we're the no face movement. We give you facts and conspiracy theories. We're giving you facts. Okay, and on February the 25th, to, tomorrow, I don't see no 2016 WF9 coming nowhere near Earth. There is another asteroid, though, that's coming near Earth tomorrow. That's even closer, though. It's called 2017 DR34. And this thing comes really close. It comes 0.6 lunar distance away. You hear me, folks? You hear me. So they're tracking something that no one knows about. 2016 WT6, okay? Or T9, whatever, I forgot. Uh, and they said they don't know if it's an asteroid or a comet. And by the way that they're tracking, they said it's two lunar distance away. Let's get back up here. Yep, it's 2016 WF9. All right. And it comes its closest day. Right? You guys see this, right? It comes its closest day tomorrow, February the 25th, 2017. But when you go to near Earth objects, uh, uh, dot JPL dot NASA dot gov slash CA slash CA, our upcoming close approach to Earth, you do not see it. But there is something that comes even closer. They might have changed its name, not to panic people. 2017 DR34. This is coming near Earth. This is coming between the moon and Earth. They don't know if it's an asteroid or a comet. The bigger the size of an asteroid or a comet, the bigger the force our Earth got on that gravitational pull. Okay? That's like dropping a penny from a skyscraper. I got a lot of force. Now imagine dropping something bigger. Each time you drop something bigger, it got more gravitational pull. Our Earth, North, South Pole, got gravitational pull. So I got warnings and watches for... Asteroid 2016 WF9, and they switch its name, and this is on NASA.gov. Official sub 2017 DR34. So be prepared. This is the No Face Movement. I'm going to have a second part because something else is coming. Something else is coming. I told you we lined up with the Central Galactic Plan. We lined up December 21st, 2012. The media made you think. Well, if nothing happens on that day, we're all right. That's a lie. It takes time. It takes time. On December 21st, 2012, our sun, our solar system, lined it up with the Central Galactic Plane. On the last week of January 2017, as we see all these crazy storms getting even more crazier, our Earth is on the other side of the sun, and a central galactic plane circling around our sun for the next, till the year 2020. So all the storms that we are experiencing are going to be deadlier and crazier, bigger. We're going to see the biggest earthquakes of all time. Because the central galactic plane holds our universe in place. We're going to see giant solar flares. So be prepared. Be prepared. And Planet X, Nibiru. Playing at nine. This is the movement, movement, movement. Till next time, please subscribe to stay updated. We got a lot of news. We got a lot of crazy stuff to talk about. This is the movement, move, movement. Till next time, facing off.